Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and this is the original series where we will be dealing with some original questions that I have curated over years for my students and I would like to bring forward those things because the kind of concepts that you would have here would be very close to the JE advanced level and also multi-conceptual questions. So today I have picked a question that I have set one year ago for my students uh, in the rotational mechanics. So let's go ahead and check the formal wording of the question. So in case you want to try with an unbiased mind, try to make sure that you pause the video here and uh, give it a try for five minutes and then come back and uh, please understand this question may contain more than one correct answer. Okay, right. So let me go through the formal wording for those who are following the solution. A uniform hollow sphere of mass M and radius R is held with its base vertical. A and B are material points on the hemisphere such that AB is a diameter of the base. Okay, so AB is the diameter and is initially vertical. That AB line is vertical. The floor is smooth. Very important uh, wording that you need not miss here. Okay, right. And upon releasing from rest, AB becomes horizontal for the first time during the subsequent motion and the hemisphere acquires an angular velocity omega. At this instant, C is the center of mass of the hemisphere and D is the material point in contact with the floor. Okay, right. And it's obvious that you might have noticed that this point D uh, would come to the uh, bottom and touch the floor and that is the position where the angular speed omega is mentioned. At this instant, mark the incorrect options. This is also a very important thing that you need to read in exams that he's talking about incorrect options. Okay, right. So there are four options given and as always tell you, you need to check whether all the four options are different versions or the same versions. Okay, so that means four different concepts are asked. So you need to keep an eye on each one of them. Okay, so angular velocity, and in terms of angular velocity, he has given two options, one for acceleration of center of mass and uh, velocity of this material point D, okay? Also, he's talking about the radius of curvature of the point A when it actually comes to the lowest most position. So let's try to crack this one. I'll start off with uh, the concepts that are required for this particular problem, okay? So first I've tried to draw three different stages of this uh, shell trying to come down up to the bottom most point. So this is the first instant when it is released. This is some arbitrary instant when actually in the middle of the journey. And this is the final position that we are interested in. You could clearly see from the geometry of a spherical structure that any point of contact here uh, should have uh, tangent and normal drawn at that particular place, right? So floor is always a tangent and therefore the normal drawn, which is the vertical should pass through O, which tells you and gives you a very decent picture that the O's distance from the floor never changes. Okay, that doesn't mean O doesn't move, O may move, but O can't move in the vertical direction. Its vertical distance is fixed. So we finalize that O's velocity or acceleration, whatever it is, motion should be only in the horizontal direction. O cannot move in the vertical direction. What is this O? O is the center of curvature of that particular shell. Okay, so that's what I wrote. Distance of the center of curvature of that particular O from the floor is fixed and therefore O doesn't move vertically. It implies vertical velocity and acceleration of point O is zero throughout the motion. Okay, that means it is zero even at the end. Okay, so keep this in mind. Second important point that you realize is of the free body diagram. Since there is no friction involved in the question, horizontal force on this entire shell would be zero at every instant. And remember the free body diagram's forces, F external would be put up as mass into acceleration of center of mass. So it affects the motion of center of mass. Since there is no horizontal force, we can finalize that center of mass only moves vertically. So C falls only vertically, whereas in the previous picture, we saw O moves only horizontally. Also at the lowest point, the value of velocity of center of mass should become zero. That is obvious because the point is moving downward and it has to become the lowest position, then the velocity of center of mass should become zero and omega becomes maximum, okay, right? So this is these are the two things about O and C that we have noticed. And also one simple concept that for a uh, hemispherical shell, the center of mass should lie at a distance of R by two. This is another thing that you need to know, okay? Right, let's move ahead. And now we'll try to ascertain certain velocity and acceleration 
options that he has given. Okay, so at that final instant, I have drawn that sphere in a slightly bigger manner. C is the center of mass, D is the material point in contact, A is the side most point, O is the center of curvature. I mark some distances for my convenience. Okay, so we have concluded that C has only vertical acceleration possible. Okay, C can only have vertical accelerations and O can only have horizontal accelerations. Okay, one very important thing is in the C's frame, the entire object seems to be purely rotating and that's the beauty of any point actually not just C's frame any point on the object if you sit at that particular instant on that and watch the rest it would be seemingly rotating purely about that so I'll just put that OC here can you can carefully observe I brought this OC at this place in the C's frame O seems to be moving in a circular path at that instant this blue line being the radius so if it has to move in circular path and angular velocity is omega of the object then the acceleration of that O point with respect to C is downward and R by 2 omega square and Velocity of that O point should be R omega towards right because it's spinning in a clockwise sense. Okay, so these these are the two things with respect to C. But uh, that means A O C. Can I write this symbolically? A acceleration of O with respect to C we found is R omega square by two downward, which I will write as A O minus A C equal to that same the wording but AO is zero right acceleration of O in the vertical direction is zero okay so if I substitute that AC actually comes out to be R omega square by 2 in the upward direction. this is a very smart way of finding acceleration of center of mass okay so center of mass is not moving at that instant that means velocity is zero but its acceleration is upward very very important conclusion that we found so using all of this we conclude something very simple that velocity of center of mass at that instant is zero but its acceleration is upward we call that as a rest frame the word rest rep represents velocity being zero whereas velocity of point o is towards right which is r omega but its acceleration is zero whenever any frames acceleration is zero we call it inertial frame this is a beautiful uh, relationship that you end up getting in this particular problem that i love the most okay so which means if you are trying to find velocities of different points on the object then you choose rest frame because it gives you correct answers Right. When, when you find relative answers, the answers will become absolute only if that value of the frame is also zero. So I, I conclude that if I want velocity of, let's say, point A, it's better to sit on center of mass and watch it because center of mass doesn't have velocity. But I don't do the same thing to find out the acceleration of point A. Acceleration of point A, I'll try to not sit on center of mass because it itself has an acceleration. So what's a better way? I think acceleration should always be found from inertial frames. Okay, so I conclude A's velocity, I'll sit on C and find out. A's acceleration, I'll sit on O and find out because it's an inertial frame. Okay, same thing I'll use for D also. Imagine in the options, I think he's talking about velocity of point D. So velocity of point D, what's the best place to sit and watch? Center of mass because its velocity is zero. So you sit on uh, center of mass and if this is turning in clockwise sense, he will think that this particular D point is moving towards left with velocity of R omega by two. So we found one of the options, okay, right? So keeping this uh, rest frame and inertial frame in mind, let's go further and dig into the calculation of point A. Okay. So to calculate point A's velocity, I use the center of mass frame. So just I'm pointing it on the diagram. Let's watch here. For a person sitting here, he will think the point A's radius is this red color thing and velocity would be perpendicular to that radius equal to this length AC times omega. It's very simple. Okay, so that's what I wrote. So to calculate VA, we use rest frame, which is center of mass frame. VA is equal to AC into omega perpendicular to AC. Whereas to calculate acceleration of point A, I'll not sit here because if I sit and I have to make some calculations and changes and all that. Ah, if someone asks you with respect to CM, what is the acceleration of A? You would point it in this direction, but that's not absolute acceleration. Then you have to use the vector analysis to get the actual one. So if you want in one shot, direct uh, absolute acceleration of point A, better to sit on O because that was the inertial frame. So when you sit on O to watch for the acceleration of point A, then it would be towards O because it's centripetal in nature and it would be R omega square. And that's what we wrote. Okay. So we found acceleration and velocity of A in two different ways, but these are absolute values. So this green color is acceleration. This red color is the net velocity of that point A. What will we do with that? 
we say radius of curvature of any particle in curvilinear motion would be equal to the absolute speed square divided by acceleration component perpendicular to that speed that means centripetal okay so you need to take this r omega squares component perpendicular to this velocity so this is the absolute velocity so that i have written as it is as this particular square and then r omega squares component in this direction is called as a perpendicular to velocity that's what i wrote and when you substitute the cos theta from the triangle <clears throat> you end up getting phi root phi r by 8 i think which this is also in one of the options the last thing that is uh, left out is to solve for omega what's the value of omega i think you should have guessed work energy theorem is the way to go okay so by the time this this particular configuration is reached c would have fallen down by a distance of r by 2 that you can clearly check so mechanical energy conservation from start to the end produces a mgr by 2 loss in potential energy should be equal to gain in kinetic energy okay now very important thing that you should realize is this bottom most point is not the icr this is actually slipping because there is no friction and we realized who is the rest frame among all of this in this particular instant center of mass which is a beauty of this question in fact c is the icr in this particular problem okay so about c i'll try to calculate the kinetic energy half icm into omega square another concept icm is a very uh, interesting calculation here because you already know the moment of inertia about o because it's a curvature point you know the moment of inertia about this particular place is 2 by 5 mr square so use parallel axis theorem to get to that moment of inertia at c and be careful the center of mass you should subtract that value because center of mass uh, moment of inertia would be smaller so with all these manipulations and lot of satisfaction you will end up getting this particular value of omega which i don't think is there in the options okay so let's go back and check the options please remember in all of this you should not forget that it was an incorrect options that were asked okay right so in this uh, omega is equal to root 3 uh, g by 2 r is an incorrect option so a is the part of the key acceleration of point c is r by 2 omega square downwards Ah, this is very uh, cunning way of asking. I think when we found acceleration of r uh, c, we found r omega square by two upwards. Okay, right? And this can be actually used to find normal reaction between floor and the uh, um, shell. Okay, so n is not mg in this situation. So upward is the correct answer. So downward is a wrong thing. This so it will be a part of the key. radius of curvature of the point i think i end up getting the correct answer and r by 2 omega leftward also also correct so the correct key to get marks in the exam is ab because they are incorrect statements okay right so i hope you enjoyed and took away a lot of concepts and lot of clarity in this question uh, i would urge you to think what would have happened to this question if there was friction and it was sufficiently high to roll that object so that would be another video that i'll make up in the near future okay so other important series if you would like to check out in this channel if you are new is pathfinder solution series olympiad workout series where we solve lot of inpho and iph O O H P H O questions and A I T S select series where I curate all the uh, other institute papers, the famous institutes that conduct A I T S all over India over the last ten years. I have very good uh, source of questions that I've been coming up with. So result series uh, results a lot of uh, nitty gritties of the subject with a lot of doubts that are asked by brilliant students, which textbooks don't resolve. So we try to do that. So please do check out these things. All the playlist links are in the description below. And if you like those. and like this present video please do like share and subscribe to my channel try to spread it to your friends bring more of your friends to the discussions and please do write in comments uh, what do you want to watch next okay i'll keep making a note of those things and i'll come up with those videos in the near future okay thank you stay safe and uh, see you in the next video